Hello everybody and welcome back to another video and greetings from Kawagoya, one of our favorite places. Perfect for a day trip, only 30 minutes from Ikebukuro Station. So on this video, we're going to be walking down this Shotengai. That's where the hotel is located, the place we stayed at the last time. And this Shotengai used to be the center of Kawagoya. So we're going to be eating a lot of food, we're going to be visiting a store that has about a hundred year history. They make the best sweet potato snacks in town and so much more. Now this is a street that's basically catering to the locals because this is not on the tourist map. However, the last time we were here, we got to talk to one of the ladies who own a shop on this particular street. And she said, back in the day, this was the main street. This was like the center of Kawagoya. There was a movie theater. There were a lot more shops here. And so we thought it would be interesting to walk down this street today and uh, check out some of the shops. Mm -hmm. The hotel we stayed last night used to be a theater. They rebuilt and changed into this hotel. Right across the hotel is this shop called Nibido. And we gotta check it out. There's there's something that I want in here. This this is nice. Denim? Yeah, yeah it made, denim. it's a tote bag made made with a denim. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I love this I love design. the design. Yeah, me too. Oh, and they're, they're diff different designs oh. as well. Oh, oh, I love the tote bag. Oh, and uh, on our wall we have a, a tenable cloth like this, but we do need a new one because that's summer. Okay, let's check it out. Let, let's go inside the shop. Whoa, it's nice. Check it out. Look at all the stuff here. And, and the shop itself is really beautiful. What do you guys think? Look at that lamp. I want the lamp. Do they have tenugui here? Oh, they do. Oh, this is nice. Oh, I, I think we need to find one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So, so these tenugu usually I think they're used for like wrapping things but uh, these days a lot of people like to use them as decoration for the house just like we, we like to do. Japanese, it's so Japanese. Oh yeah, that's the design. Deer and autumn Maple, leaves. The autumn leaves. Mount Fuji and autumn leaves. Okay. In Ginko and Shibainu. Doggy. Okay, and there's some Halloween ones too. Check it out, look. Jack-o'-lantern. Oh wow, a lot of choices here. This one? Or this, or this one. one? Okay, you know what? I kind of like this one. Okay. Yeah, let's get this. Look at these guys. These are like little handkerchiefs. These are cute. I like these. I actually need a handkerchief to be honest with you. So... Should I get this one? Should I get the blue one with bamboo? Um, that's pink with uh, ume. I think I'm gonna get this one. Yeah, this will match everything I have. You know what? I'm gonna come back for this next time. This tote bag made with denim. Look at that, isn't it gorgeous? So beautiful. Okay, so we got what we needed. This is a great shop. Right next of Nibido, here is a meat shop called Niku no Azumaya. And they sell croquettes and cutlets, the deep fried stuff. And we heard it's very nice, delicious. So we bought two stuff. One is my croquette. Look, it's only 80 yen. Pretty nice price. Right, and there's some sauce on it as and well. And sauce on it. They put some sauce. Itadakimasu. Mmm. 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 <laughs> First, you already heard the sound. Sakuto. The outside, the butter is very nicely deep fried. It's sak sakuto. Crispy. The very sweet potato flavor again. Mmm, mmm, smooth potato and tasty. This croquette is really good. 
I got the ham cutlet. This is a very retro type of deep fried food. My mother loves this stuff and uh, she used to like this when she was a kid. It's a thin slice of ham, uh, nicely breaded with panko breadcrumbs, deep fried to a golden brown, and there's some tonkatsu sauce on the top. Itadakimasu! Mm -hmm. It's still piping hot. It's crispy and... Mm. You know, you get lots of crispy surface, which I love. And it's so piping hot still. The ham is the old-fashioned Japanese ham. Uh, this is a recommendation from my friend Mori-san. Thank you Mori-san for the recommendation. I feel like we're not gonna move from this spot. <laughs> like seriously, the hotel's right here. We just went to the store across the street, then we went to the shop uh, right next to that shop, and then now we're across that shop at Yakitori Oichan. Uh, they just celebrated the one year anniversary. Congratulations to them. Uh, even during the pandemic, uh, they're doing well. So happy to hear that. We're gonna sit right here. They have outdoor seating. They also have indoor seating on the counter. And uh, the owner is super, super friendly. This is Koedo Sawa. My happy hour. Happy hour. Beer it's, time. It's barely noon time. <laughs> <laughs> yes, lunch beer. I love lunch beer. So this one is Koedo, the local, local craft beer. Recently, Koedo beer is very popular. Mm -hmm. And this one is Kara, named Kara. This is an India Pale Ale. Oh really? I yep. did not know that. That's what it says. And looks like from the menu they have uh, six different uh, Koedo craft beers here. I didn't even know they had three, six different types. Oh, looks good. And of course we're in Kawagoi, so I have to get something with the Saimo cider. Believe me, this is not a sponsored video. Saimo is not sponsoring us at all. I just love this drink a lot. So this is shochu, which is a Japanese liquor. I'm adding. Uh, a little bit of the Saimo cider, which is a sweet potato cider uh, famous here in Kawagoi because Kawagoi is famous for their sweet potatoes. Cheers! Cheers! Cheers, everybody! Yum! Yum, 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 yum! Mm. I feel like I have to have this in stock at my house, at our apartment, sorry, so that I can always make cocktails with this. Itadakimasu! Yeah. It has IPA bitterness, but a hint of muscat, like our grape. Mm. They gave us their recommendation. This one is Tori Harami with Tare sauce. You can choose salt flavor or sauce flavor. So it is grilled shining. The cha grilled mark is beautiful. Itadakimasu! Mm. <laughs> oh my. This one is soft and the tare is soy sauce based but it's a little bit sweet and it's nice fattiness and lots of chicken umami. Oh. Mm. I understand this one is their recommendation. Mm. Is that hmm? First of all, the sauce is delicious. It's sweet. It's savory. Perfectly balanced char grill flavor. It's like a very delicious chicken skin. Better than chicken skin. I actually don't like uh, chicken skin yakitori, but this one I actually like. It has so much flavor. Oh, I'm a fan of chicken wing. With bones or not, look how beautifully grilled it is. Look, grilled up both sides. This is uh, just seasoned with salt. It's the way I like it. <laughs> oh, that's good. Mm, that's good. The chicken tastes so clean and fresh. You don't have that funny chicken smell. It's just a very clean chicken flavor. You know what I'm talking about? Okay, I'm gonna try it with a little bit of their uh, miso here. Okay, this is your special 
in-house miso. Mm. 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 This miso is like garlicky, has that miso uh, taste, very, very, uh, lots of umami. Imagine like garlic miso, mm. it goes so well with the chicken wing. This is negima, one of our favorites. It's basically uh, chicken and negi, which is like Japanese green onions, and it kind of alternates between. Well, wow, this is good too. Mmm, I love yakitori, don't you? Mmm, especially sitting out like this, outside, with a cocktail or a beer. Doesn't get any better than this. This is gonna be a great day. So, tori momo chicken thigh. I love tori momo momo chicken thigh because it has nice fattiness. <laughs> It's juicy, tender, chagri flavor. It's my happiness. Try with the miso. Okay, with miso. Mm. Looks nice. Mm. What a beautiful miso. Lots of umami and combined with this chicken flavor. So good, so good. So this one, it's tsukune, ground chicken meat, and formed like this, stick. Mm. Mm. Wow, this one, the umami and the sweetness is amazing. Contrast of salt and, salt and this umami and sweetness is perfect. We are having too much fun here, guys, in Kawagoe. Is it even legal to have this much fun and be eating this much food? We're eating so much food today. And here we are at our next stop. This place is famous for their uh, yakisoba, their fried noodles. All right guys, let's go inside. Let's go inside and eat some fried noodles. So this place has been making yakisoba since right after the time after World War II. The owner's mother used to have a restaurant then he took over and he made it into a yakisoba shop because he loves yakisoba noodles and he loves sauce, that's what he says. What's different about this yakisoba is that it's made the old-fashioned way but the noodles are very thick, almost like udon noodles but they are definitely not udon noodles. So this is the basic plate of yakisoba. You see the noodles, uh, there's a uh, cabbage, there's aonori which is a uh, dried seaweed uh, uh, stir-fried with their special sauce and it's served with uh, beni shoga which is pickled red ginger. Itadakimasu! Mm. Mm. First of all, the noodles is the first thing you notice because they are thick, they are chewy, but they're absolutely not udon. It's very different from the kansai sauce, which is sweeter. This one is, is a little bit saltier and more savory, I think. And also a little bit, not spicy spicy, but it has some spices in it as well. It's really delicious. And in, in here, I also see pieces of, uh, I think it's ground meat. I also see slivers of meat as well. Mmm. 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 So spreba. It's good. Yeah, a little bit spicy, just a kick, but same time it's sweet. Combination of sweetness, saltiness, and a little bit bitterness. It matches totally nice. And this benishoga adds the tanginess. So every good flavor is inside of this. If you like stronger flavor, they have this sauce. This their original sauce for a little bit, as much as you like, but don't put so much. And mix, take it. Mmm, 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 mmm. This sauce has a very good sweetness and some kind of spiciness. Tasty. Mm. I like this sauce. Mm. I wonder I can buy this sauce. Yes? Oh, I want to buy this. 
They have um, some other stuff on the menu. They have um, um, one with an omelet on top, which is their best seller. They also have one where there's like an omelet and there's something else I can't remember, but there's like three different things on one dish, including the yakisoba. That one looks good for big appetites. Definitely have to come back here because um, I also want to try their um, shio yakisoba, which is just a plain salted yakisoba. That looks good too. Okay, so now we're gonna stop by and say hello to the lady who owns the the sweet potato shop. We, we came here the last time. Once again, um, if you missed our Kawagoi video, the, the street food video, make sure to watch that because that was a good one. And we uh, have a lot of recommendations on, on that video. And we also visit the sweet potato shop, which we're gonna go to right now because she makes the best sweet potato chips in town. Here we are at the end of this uh, Shotengai. It's the last shop on the corner on the left side, Imoju. The shop has been here for a very long time. They are famous for their sweet potatoes. They have a variety. They have these sweet potato sticks. They also have these sweet potatoes which are soft. However, this is what they are famous for, the Imoju Senbe. These are very thinly sliced sweet potatoes that has been baked and they're flavored with a little bit of sugar I think but that's it but it's delicious but I think this time I want to try something different so maybe this one or maybe this one okay, so we get this one and this one yeah, yeah okay all right so we're gonna get this one the potato sticks and we're gonna get the sweet potato chips Perfect. Arigatou gozaimasu. Ah, hai. Arigatou gozaimasu. Mata asobi ni kimasu. Mata amachi shite masu. Oh my god, I love that lady so much. And you know, uh, uh, we got to converse with the son a little bit too. And he says he likes to talk English, so he misses all the tourists uh, visiting Kawagoe. So if you guys come to Kawagoe when uh, traveling opens up, or if you live here in Tokyo, uh, make sure to visit them and say hello. They're really, really nice people. Okay, so we are here at Aya Noka. Uh, this place uh, sells wagashi or Japanese sweets, mainly daifuku. Uh, it's located right across the yakitori shop and the hotel we were at. But I, I do have to uh, point out that these daifuku here, um, they cannot be eaten right away. Uh, they come frozen, so you do have to wait a couple of hours before you consume them. But they're perfect for takeaway. They're beautiful, they're unique and we're gonna try them out right now. All right, we got four different daifuku. <laughs> yeah, I know, how much can we eat? Well, we can eat a lot. And this one is pistachio. I already cut it in half, and there's, uh, looks like there's cream on the inside, and I believe they have a pistachio paste uh, inside the dough part as well, the mochi part. Oh, uh, very creamy. Mm, the mochi is super soft. You know what? It's very, very rich. Very rich, um, nice pistachio flavor. And the one I was curious to try is the matcha one. Look at this deep green color. It's so beautiful. Mmm. Mmm. Check it out. First of all, the matcha is not sweet. It's the, the bitterness and the earthiness of the matcha is there. Super strong matcha flavor. Nice soft mochi. You see the azuki beans on the inside. So this one is pretty interesting. It's tomato daifuku. Tomato. Can you believe it? Tomato inside of this daifuku. Oh, the color is a little bit pink. Mm. It's sweet. Mmm. Mochi part. Sticky mochi part. And the uh, siroam uh, seasoned with tomato. And inside, can you see? It's real tomato. Mmm. Mmm. The tomato juice came to my mouth now. It has a tomato tanginess, but it's sweet. 
、ランボワーズ、ランボワーズ大福、ラズベリー大福。The beautiful vivid pink color, it's different from tomato. <laughs> What a beautiful raspberry framboise flavor. A little bit tangy, but mostly it's sweet. I just cannot imagine what a tomato dive could would taste like. That's interesting. I bit into the t- tomato directly, so I tasted tomato. It was like eating a salad in a way. But in between the tomato and the mochi, there's a beautiful white bean paste that's sweet and it has like a Like a, like a fruity flavor. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but tomato actually works. You gotta have the white bean paste though. It works with the white bean paste and the mochi. Tomato daifuku. If, if you don't hate tomato, definitely give this one a try. Very unique. Now, if you want something that you can eat right away, I、uh, recommend you try、uh, some of these、uh, here, the dorayaki here. They have the seasonal Mont Blanc dorayaki, which is chestnut. Um, maybe if you come during the summertime, maybe they'll have a different flavor. But the dorayakis, they're okay to eat immediately. But once again, as a reminder, the daifuku, you do have to wait for two hours before consuming because they are frozen. You know what? I'm so happy that we explored this Shoten Gai.、Mm-hmm. This is a place that most tourists don't come often. They usually go to the main part of Kawagoe, but they're really, really missing out. There's lots of good places to eat and I just love the lady at the sweet potato shop. I, I love her so much. Everybody we met here is so kind.、Mm. Um, every, everything, the food, was、wow, so good, delicious. Yeah,、mm. yeah. everybody really was kind.、Mm. And I think that's what makes a visit to Kawa- Kawagoe very, very special、uh, because of the people.、Mm. And so, definitely recommend you guys、uh, checking these places out. We leave all the addresses, information below this video. Thank you for watching. See you on next delicious video. Bye bye. Bye, guys.